All right, now we're doing 7Q vowel one, and this is by user 6029333, and 93% of the people like it. Uh, so we're gonna write a function that takes a string and outputs a string of one and zero, ones and zeros, where vowels become ones and non-vowels become zeros. Uh, all the non-vowels, including non-alpha characters, spaces, comments, etc., should be included. So on this one, uh, A, E, I, and O are the uh, vowels, so they're changed into ones, the rest zeros right here, A, E, I, O, U, and then this A are all turned into ones, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, okay, cool, and blah, 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 just like that. So over here, we're going to change this into concise syntax saying const vowel one equals S, and then the rest of it is going to be turned into an arrow, and then down here, we're going to say console.log. So we can test as we go. All right, so let's check out what S looks like to start off with. It should look just like this, and it does. All right, uh, and so right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by replacing all the uh, non-vowels and turning them into zeros, all right? So to do that, we're gonna use this replace method, which returns a new string with one sum or all matches, pardon me, or all matches of a pattern replaced by a replacement. The pattern can be a string or regex. It's going to be a regex on this one. And the replacement can be a string or a function for each match. It's going to be a string on this one. So basically we're going to have uh, the pattern, which is the regex, and then the replacement, which is either a zero or a one. And in this case, it's going to be zero for the non-vowels. So we're going to say dot replace, and then we're going to use the regex right here. And if you don't know uh, too much about regex, uh, we're going to be using this specific character class right here. Uh, where we put uh, the AEIOU in this negated or complemented character class, and it matches anything that is not enclosed in the brackets. Okay, so what we're going to do is say in these brackets we're making right here, we're going to say caret AEIOU, and that's going to get anything not a uh, anything not a whatever it is a a vowel. All right, so let's test it out first. Oh, it only does one, and then it's not even defined because we didn't even push comma zero like this. Now let's test it out. And so it says zero vowel one because it only matches the first one. So to correct that, we're going to come over here to the regular expressions page, and we're going to add a couple of flags. And uh, the flags we're going to put on there are global search flags, this G, and case insensitive, just in case it's upper or lower case, you know? So uh, we're gonna say G and I. G so that it'll match more than one I for the upper and lower case. So let's test that out. All right, now we got zeros for all these uh, consonants. So now we're going to take, we're gonna do another replace, and we're gonna repla replace all the non-digits with ones, all right? So let's say dot uh, replace. And we could do non-digits, we could do letters. Uh, we can do, do pretty much every, anything. So we're gonna do uh, dot replace. And uh, for the non-digits over here on the character classes, we're gonna use this capital D, which matches any character that is not a digit. That's basically it. So we're gonna say backslash capital D, and then we're gonna do the G and the I right there. And we're going to replace it with one like that. Now let's test it out. All right, zero one zero blah blah blah, just like that. And let's take out this console dot log right here. Test it out. And look at that. Looks great. Attempt it and submit it. All right. And you see here, they pretty much did the same thing. They did the uh, what was it called? was it called negated or complemented character class for regular digit but whatever that's cool uh, this one did a dot includes with a join and a split and a map oh my goodness uh, and there we go there's all kinds of stuff we can check them all out let's go to mine uh, just me on this one best practice in my opinion very much like it and we'll see you next time